The sign workers to your horn blower to act or activate. Okay. Where is he? You're the hero that we need right now. You need to pop those legs. Pop them. Pump them. Oh, don't leave. Oh, they still gotta build it. Oh, we've gone through the crossroads. All right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little upcoming banger by the name of The Wandering Village. Now, it's a game you don't necessarily have to wait too long for, as I believe this comes out on September 14th. Uh, the video might show up before then or after, it just depends on how my schedule works out. But this right here is the build you guys will be getting here pretty soon enough. And it's a game that I've had my eyes on for quite a while because you're essentially building a civilization on top of a kaiju's bag. You know, you've seen that meme about the turtle wandering through space, obviously, and we're all just living on top of that, and that's how the worlds exist. Well, that this game takes that into consideration, but kind of shrinks it down a little bit. You know, it's, it's a kaiju size as opposed to some giant turtle in space, and uh, we get to build and live atop of it in a parasymbiotic relationship. However, that parasymbiotic relationship also has its downsides because if this kaiju gets ill, well, it's a little bit bad for us or in our civilization, right? So, without further ado, let's uh, check it out. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. And that right there is our introduction. You see how nice and sweet that is and to the point. We live in a post-apocalyptic world where everything underneath us is apparently poisoned. As a matter of fact, we may be able to get see some of it here. This is us on top of this creature as I've mentioned. We can zoom out a bit more. Now this creature is actually going to be moving along a path, which is very important because we'll be able to actually make it turn on occasion to go down a different path. And where that path leads, what happens? Well, it's all basically... Oh, it's an adventure, is what I like to call it, right? Let's start off here with a little bit of building... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're telling me to do some housing, because that's exactly what I was going to do. So we need six tents here for our individuals, right? Uh, let's see. What are we looking at here? We got some berries, which will be farming. Probably put a berry farm over through there, or maybe down through there. I'm looking for a lot of greenery as well. This would be nice for a farm area, because there's a lot of greenery for it. So you know what? Let's put our tents maybe somewhere over on this side. And if we hold left shift, we could, uh, click a couple of them like that, so that's fine. We'll put our six tents right there. We won't break them up just yet. We eventually want to build some roads to, like, maybe connect to our farms and our berries and stuff like that, but one step at a time, I like to say. Let's go into, uh, three, four times speed. I like that. Make it quick. We ain't got time to wait around. Time is money, as they say. Don't just stand around there and look at the empty lot, okay? How about we start getting some commands over here to harvest trees? However, I like this feature, by the way. It makes it so all you harvest are the fully grown trees, which is important because if we want to clear our land, we can get rid of these little small sprouts and whatever, but they won't produce wood. But if we have this over here enabled, and then we basically go through, say, all of this, it won't cut down the little small boys, only the ones that are fully grown, that will actually give you wood. So, nice little touch right there. And as a matter of fact, we're building our farms through this side. I wouldn't say it's a bad idea for us to go through all of this right there. Let's start thinking about berry gatherers, I did say, right? Now, where is a nice con- oh, that's a nice concentration right there. 31, 27, come on, boils. You got you got something better than for the cylinder. I mean, this is going to be the farm area, so... Uh, 40, got a 40. But I think I've seen 40 before. No, we haven't seen 40 before. We've seen 31. Here's a 40. Place it right there for now. Okay. And let's see. I mean, to prioritize the task? Uh, sure. The task is to get berry gathering up as soon as possible. How about that? Farm? I mean, thanks game. I was going to do that, but I appreciate it. Look at him over there. just standing around again. Standing. Well, not too long because we're going to have this farm here up and running soon. Um, we, necess we don't necessarily want to have the farms close to this because obviously we can't grow any stuff right there. So this will be right at the outskirt edge, and I think that works. We set right through there. Perfect. Now, farm. We need also need some air wells. Uh, extracts water from the air. Now, we're looking for a high humidity. By the way, we're also going through food like crazy because right now we got no production happening. 
But I guess we'll soon we will once we have this. We can even put an extra worker here if we want. Or maybe even set up a second berry gathering spot. I mean, what's to stop us, right? The world is indeed our oyster. We build where we want to build. I mean, what about over here? It's kind of a far trap, but 45. I like the efficiency on it. It's good efficiency. Or that's not good efficiency. That's terrible efficiency in the other's hand. Uh, you know, let's, let's go 40, huh? 45. We'll do a 45er. Do a 45er. And what we'll do is we'll also put up a little land spot so it's a little bit easier for us to travel. Break down those trees along the way, it's perfectly fine. And then we'll go up through here to our farm area. Have a nice little connection to that, I'd say, right? And then we'll build something like maybe down through here to that. Excellent. And down here to our living areas. Probably get up with more tents eventually, so for now we'll do something like this. And that. Okay. That'll work out for now. We got a lot of things over here being queued up, and that's perfectly fine. That's the reason why we got that four times speed four. Now, uh, assign plots. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Alright, boils, let's see. I'm gonna have at least three of you guys working here for sure. Maybe that's even four. That's fine. It's important for us to have food, I would say. Now, right now, we just got beets, so obviously queue up the meme, Falcon. Bears. Beats. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... How big do we want this bad boy to be? Well... Make one... Like so. Another one... Like so. And... Do you think that's good enough for now? Two big old plots, we got two berry farms, two... Yeah, I don't think that's too bad, to be honest. So, we'll set it up like so. They'll get to... Working. There you go. <laughs> just don't just stand around there. Actually get to the work, my friends. Oh! Our boy is indeed, I think, waking up. Let's, uh, watch this happen. There he is. Now he's gonna start hitting the road. Don't you come back no more, no more. We got no horn blower you built, which is how we get his attention. I think that's gonna be kind of important when we show up to places that have possibility of events. And we might want to make them turn, for instance, right? Like crossroads. But, um... We don't got a horn blower yet. I think we need to research that if I'm correct. But we'll see if we get around to it. Uh, right now, let's get this, um... Water, because, you know, water is very important for people to survive nowadays, is what I've heard. So, let's see here. Airwell. The humidity right now is looking fine and dandy, so I'm gonna say we put you maybe up through there. We need two of them, so just place them back to back right there. Now, I do believe you're gonna also require a stone. How's our stone supply looking like? Zero. Ooh, that's bad. We don't got the stones for it. We're missing the testicular fortitude for the air wells. Got no stones, but luckily for us, there's hundreds of them over there, so that is for you boys right there. Okay, so they're over here acquiring the stone, which is great. We have a good, we have a couple of good problems, though. This one's still over here mining, but our farm and our berry, they're letting us know, hey, we got no storage, which is a good problem. It means that we have so much food being produced that we have no idea what to do with it, so let's also go ahead here where we're at it and do the material. Actually, pantry is what we're looking for. Where do we want this pantry? Well, not too far, I would say, from our traveling spots for food, so... Um, I guess we could put one through here. And we'll also have to do the water tank. And little material storage. I think it's kind of like a little storage area. And luckily for us, since we've been building around that, we could also add a small little road right to it. It's not too bad because our farm will go like this and just dump stuff off right there. Actually, we might have to uh, make it look nice and proper that way. Guy just grabbed a bead and chomp. Look at that. They're just grabbing beads and chomping down on them. Those guys are ballers, man, I gotta tell you. Why don't you go and grab some berries? I think they're probably a bit more delicious and easier to eat. We don't have a kitchen just yet. Okay, so right now we also got our first event, which gives us more people, which is a good event. So, do we want to send these nomads off or do we want to pick them up? We'll definitely pick them up. However, that does indeed mean that, um, plus two. More than likely, we're gonna need a couple more tents, is what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, we got total housing. We got 18 people, but 16 total housing. So, I think it's uh, two per, right? So, I think all we need is just really one more spot through here. So, we'll... That. Right there. Perfect. Next, we can set up a couple more tents that way until we hit that spot. Yeah, it's perfect. 
Okay, so our water tanks were up and running, so that's going to produce water, and water which we need actually for our farms to be grown here. So yeah, soon enough we'll have the farms up and running again. Right now we're dropping in food because of the fact that we're not farming, but once we get that water supply from you, it'll be fine. Now, one of the other things we should, should note of is, uh, zoom on out here. We're approaching our very first crossroad. Now here, build a horn blower to guide Anbu to the right path. So, this is where you want to look ahead to see if like there's any sort of like danger coming up, like maybe in the ecosystem itself. Now, at the moment, we're not going to have time to do that because we need to get the researching thing. Which we might, I mean, it's asking you for the water tank and pantry, but you have to set up even beforehand. Uh, let's see here. For this, we need what? 10 and 10? Uh, let's see. Research. Where do I want the research area? Eh, that one doesn't really have to be somewhere very important, so like, let's put you out in the outskirts somewhere. Maybe here. Yeah, we'll put you out here by yourself. You live alone. You research on your own. We'll have a road like that, too. Okay, so what are research um, area now built up. We could either build a kitchen or the horn blower to what? We still need to research it. It doesn't take two or three days, depending on which one we pick. But right now, we just want a better quality of meal. So I'm going to say we definitely go with kitchen first, considering we already passed that um, crossroads anyway. So kitchen for now is what you need to research, my friend. You are indeed researching away. That's perfect. Matter of fact, what else do we have here? Kitchen, cactus plantation. Ooh. Learn how to grow cacti at your farm. Cacti are an alternate water source in the hot climates. Mmm. So we start moving into, like, you know, desert terrain. It could be a bit more difficult for us to build up the humidity to make water. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody's happy. Total productivity is at 100%. Food. We're now producing. So that's good. And researching going on over there. That's my research right there. Look at this, dude. I do love the fact you could zoom in really far into this game. I love games that give me that option. I feel like a lot of colony builders basically, like, well, they'll stop you, like, say, right here, you know? This is as far as you could go. I love the fact you could kind of get in there and just, like, look around. I'm not sure if that dude was eating those bears or just juggling them in front of his crotch. It's kind of weird regardless of which. No, it seems like that's how they eat. They juggle the bears in front of their crotch. Let's start setting up some of these worker areas since now we're looking a little bit more dashing. I guess this will be kind of like the worker area. We got a researcher, we'll have a worker post and all that stuff, so let's make it like through right there. And while we're at it, we'll probably even have a road like so, so it connects. Very good. You require what? Five and five? Well, luckily we got all the wood. Stone we could probably do a bit more of wood, I would say. We are storing water, correct? Stores 100 water. I might want to make another one of these, to be honest with you. Just so that we could kind of keep our farming non-stop. So you know what? Let's do that. Another air well, please. Make that one right through there, I say. Very good. Now, you guys aren't necessarily harvesting any goods, right? No. Which means you'll be to you'll get to work on the things that have to be built. Perfect. Let's go up to this and let's just set them up as general workers. Harvest what you can, carry what you can. Not really a big focus on anything right now at the moment. Now, construction, the carpenter, and the stone cutters. It's not like the, the, the cult in The Simpsons, the stone cutters. Oh yeah, my researcher's happy. He's about to finish up his... What do we have him working? Oh, the kitchen, right. Then with the horn blower afterwards. So we'll set this up, like, right there. That was the carpenter, correct. And then for stone cutter, we need some of those stones, are we? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Give me my road like so. Okay. Now, stones, huh? Well, boils up. Uh, next research. Well, could I not choose from these instead? And like, uh, I'd like to get the horn blower, if I may. But our carpenter's up and running, so let's see here. Makes wood from, or makes the wooden planks from wood. Three equals two. I mean, they're already working on it. We got one dude in there working, huh? Let's add a second one just in case, see what's up. Now obviously this won't get done until we get enough stone, so... Right now we're working on hauling, huh? Well, let's actually prioritize uh, the stone cutting here. Let's make it like these. Those right there are my priority. The kitchen's ready to go though, it has been ready. Make berries, beets, and onbu blood into processed food? Blood? Am I gonna be stabbing you and like, uh, you know, withdrawing blood from your body or what? That's uh, harsh. 
Well, uh, Kitchen Area or Ronta at Falcon? Well, it's uh, still a worker domain, I would say. Sure. So we'll do it right through. That's on the road. Right through here. Which is fine because we have, like, you know, the pantry there so we can easily make the food. Dot it off right there. Not really too long of a trip. And I could add a road, but do I want to? Square around. Yeah, I mean, there's not really enough real estate here left over for us to build something in there anyway, so that's fine. Now, what's going to be the problem here? Stone slab and wooden planks are required. Ah, so even though we set out, we still can do it because we need to get these bad boys up and running, in particular the stone cutter. A settlement. One of only a few remaining settlements that has yet not been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Anbu, depending on a villager's happiness. Build a scavenger hut to be able to send expedition parties to the location? Okay, so the horn is now good to go. What do we want next? Well, obviously, we've been saying so much about the scavenging, right? I think we definitely want that, so that'll be it. The village doctor sounds very good, too, especially once we start getting sick and everything. So we would need the, her the herbalist first to collect the herbs, and then the village doctor built afterwards, so he uses the herbs to clear things up. So this would be a two-stop process beforehand. So let's go with the scavenger hut, which is going to be just one, plus it lets us experiment with some of the stuff out there. So at least for the meantime, it's a waiting game. Uh, but the horn blower for a fact we need up and running. And it's got to be relatively close to him, it does seem, huh? Yeah. All right, buddy. Place this right over here. <laughs> and I'm probably make that. I'm gonna make that my priority right now. Even though I still wanna get that kitchen up and running, but I wanna make sure that we are able to holler at him before he gets to the crossroad. So make that priority number one. Five wooden planks. We got ten in storage. So, well, we are reaching the crossroad. Our boy's a fast mover, it does seem, and we're one plank away. One plank away, can you believe this? One plank away, boys. Who's got the plank? You got the plank. But even after you put it out, it's got to be built. It's got to be refined into it. It's not going to work. Assign workers to your horn blower to act or activate. Okay. Where is he? You're the hero that we need right now. You need to pop those legs. Pop them. Pop them. Oh, don't leave. Oh, they still got to build it. Oh, we've gone through the crossroads. Well, fortunately for us... Oh, wait, Poison Nomads. <laughs> you know what? I, You know what? Maybe the straight is the way after all. I was going to turn and we're going to run right into Poison Nomads. What's down here? Poison Nomads. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, our kitchen is indeed coming up. There it is. No worker stuff. That's a bad thing. So, uh, does that mean we're... No, it can't mean that... We got no people, can it? Got no people? What about our next research? Village doctor. Yes. So with this, we would have two days to make that happen. So a village doctor is going to be my next thing that we research. We might want to start getting the herbalist here pretty soon. Plant and harvest mushrooms as ingredients for ambu food. Plots must be placed on dirt soil. Ah, oh, that's actually feed the dude. Okay. So we have to worry about that too. Well, right now let's do herbalist because we got those guys coming up that are poisoned. So how does this work? You just grow things around? It must be grass. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be living areas. That's farming area. Yeah, it doesn't really mess with the berries that way. Perfect. You require wooden stone only? Thank you. We're not requiring too much more. Although, we've uh, been processing so much that our wood supply has now dipped. Same with our stone. So you know what? It's back to harvesting for us, it does seem. Any big area they want to take care of the things from where it's kind of like, you know, in the way. Uh, I guess we could clear out a bit more of the working area like so. Okay, so I decided to ixnay on the villagers just because it just wouldn't be enough time. And it's okay. I think we'll be fine. Because instead of what I decided to do is um, build the scavenger hut. So this will be able to actually go out and look for people for us. Hopefully none that are sick that we have to worry and like, you know, care for. And possibly even infect the rest of us, so we'll wait up on that. So the herbalist, though, is up and running, though. Let's actually set up uh, a plot for you as well. I guess this will work like so. And we got plenty of water, so water ain't even a problem. I think one person's good enough for now. I would say so. We still need to construct a village, doctor. Is that going to require um, slabs and everything else? Because the it seems like the second level buildings normally do. 
Village Doctor, yes, 10 and 10. I mean, we got the plank for not the stone slabs, and I'm using those right now. My focus is going to be the scavenger hut before the doctor. So, let's make that prioritize. But we will indeed have the village doctor as well. At least in the process of being made. I think we put that one right there. So here we got some food for Ambu. I wonder... Oh, you can actually see him. I like that. I was wondering if it's be like one of those things where it's just like, you know, it's idle. He just stands there and suddenly, like, the... The food for him just disappears. It's kind of like, oh, he ate. No, the actual animation is indeed part of it, too. I guess, what, what perspective are we looking at this for this to be north and this to be south? I mean, normally I'm used to south being the opposite direction of north, so... This would be south to me. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Let's just imagine that south means this way, maybe? There's no compass around here, is there? No. Okay, I'm going to assume this is north and this is south. Should we take a little twist and turn? Yes. Because I would like to hit this up if we can't. And also the shrine. So this will give us more time there. So let's have you go north. Oh, if you just click on it, it actually highlights it. Perfect. Scavenge party is ready. So we click on this or what? I just click on this. Send party. Yo! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! All right, so I'm hoping that we go to a village that's not necessarily poisoned and we get some more heads that way for more help around us. I mean, the amount of people that we have, obviously now we're, we're stretching very thin, but in terms of like keeping this group here fed well and all under control, it's been working great. Because obviously they're still at 100% productivity, everybody's happy, everybody's housed, food's always on the rise, so I mean, we're doing splendid with the people we do have. But obviously now we're moving people from certain areas in order to get things happening, so... Yeah. Speaking of which, the Village Doctor can now be... Well, actually, no, no. The Village Doctor is being built. Yeah. We just need a couple more stone slabs, obviously. So once again, wood... And the stone is very low because we've been processing everything away. So you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna say, like, you just gotta, like... Handle... Mass destruction around this area. Stones, we still got some of those stones there set up, so that's okay. Well, since we're freed up now from very big things, although the research is finished for the Ambu Kitchen, but I was gonna say, let's get the mycologists up and running so we can actually start growing the weird food for the Ambu whenever we have to feed them. And afterwards, we can make the kitchen after that. So, um, you have to grow things around. Oh, and you do it in the soil. Perfect. Well, unfortunately, not much land over there. Maybe building our working area on that soil was a bad idea after all, Falcon. Maybe. Ah, uh, this works, though. This here works. As a matter of fact, we'll do it like... Do it like that. Once it's built, we'll start growing some mushrooms for the boy. Next research, Ambu feed... <laughs> you feed him by shouting and shooting off in a trebuchet? That's awesome! Yes! Get that up and running. Bring back knowledge from a scavenging mission. Oh, guess guess who's already doing that. Guess who's already doing that. Awaiting decision. Your scavengers interfere with a shaman ritual of the native tribe of the settlement. Furious, they start threatening your people, insisting that you provide a sacrifice for another ritual immediately. We're not going to get any people from this. Make an offering that would allow them to redo the ritual. Re require bread? Um, We don't got bread. Our kitchen hasn't... I mean, we have we don't even have wheat being grown. We have to everything research that or something, so we don't have bread. <laughs> We're just gonna grab what we can't run away. We got twelve herbs at least. All right, we didn't bring people back, but we stole. Feel good about ourselves? You're damn right. I guess we're going after that shrine next then. All I wanted was a couple of extra people, and I can't even get that. Can't even get that. Either way, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been The Wandering Village. Very, very fun. Let's get a little zoom in. Yeah, I love, love this zoom in right here. A fun little game should be available, as I mentioned, on September 14. I'll have a link for you down below if you want to pick it up for yourselves. Oh, let me guess. Oh, we don't got enough stones to make it to stone slabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First world problems or on boo back world problems, I like to say it myself. But if you guys enjoyed it, all the information down below. I'll catch you next time.